$300,000 BTC is not happening guys. It's not happening as of now. It would probably happen, but it's gonna take probably more than what you can expect guys. So in this video, we'll entertain certain possibilities on Bitcoin's price action in the long term that is rather bearish. The only reason for this entire analysis is the fact that whenever we've seen Bitcoin correcting more than 50%, the downtrend has not stopped right at the 50% correction guys. The entire correction has led towards rather deep retracement points. Sometimes it's more than 80% itself in the grand scheme of things as well. So in this video guys, we'll talk about different scenarios that will play out on Bitcoin in the long term. We'll talk about this entire landscape and entire scenarios happening from different angles, guys, which is why we got a lot of charts to talk about today, right? Without any further ado, let's jump onto the first scenario right here, guys. Now stick with me, stick with me right here, because this can get a little complex if you don't understand right here. Okay, so what we're going to be talking about in the first part of this video is that this entire correction is for the first time when Bitcoin went through 80% correction in the market. This was your April 2013, good old days when Bitcoin was literally at two digits. Now, if we talk about this entire price action right here and we take a look at this entire bear market that kind of extend for three months right here had the overall correction happening within the foundations of 80% drawdown. Now, if you run Fibonacci retracement from this top right here coming to this entire bear market bottom right here, you can see that the market topped out at the 4.236 Fibonacci extension guys. These Fibonacci projections in the long time frame essentially they do play out as a whole. What's happening right here is that this entire bullish leg went towards the 4236 extension and after that guys look we went for a huge humongous correction that was your 80 percent retracement and that pushed the entire cryptocurrency market into a good looking bear market as a whole guys what do we have right here we had this entire correction for about 83.25 percent guys and this was also aligning with the 886 retracement if you talk about this entire bullish leg guys Remember, we are talking about this bullish wave right here now. If we just simply take a look at this entire bullish wave, we run a Fibonacci sequence between this point and this point right here. You saw that the bearish retracement came all the way down towards the 886 zones. That is where you set in a bottom and off you went towards your next all time highs at $20,000 Bitcoin. Let's talk about what is happening in this entire cycle right here, entire bullish cycle right here. This entire bull market was kind of followed up by a crazy amount of bear market that extended for three years long, right? Now, if you extend this entire Fibonacci zone between the market top and the market bottom, that was somewhere alongside your $4,000 regions. If you round that figure off, you saw that the market corrected once again for 80%, guys. If I just simply talk about the correction, the total correction right here, market corrected for more than 80%. And that was pretty much your market bottom. Now, if you run Fibonacci extension from this point right here towards the bottom of the entire cycle right here, you saw that the market topped out at 4236 extension once again, guys once again so we have this kind of pattern repeating in the grand scheme of things you saw that the market topped at 4 to 36 went for a deep retracement at 0 0.86 and then went for that entire bullish wave to the upside so next time what happened that we simply went towards that bull cycle we printed a top we had that correction down for 84 percent as a whole then we extended all the way towards the 4.236 extension market top once again guys now this is considering the fact that this is going to be the market top for the time being and we're going to be spending a lot of time until this entire speculation wave dies down what can we see right here guys that the 86 retracement is coming at approximately twelve thousand dollars bitcoin from the top right here guys now that is going to be your 83 to 85 percent correction in the market this is assuming that bitcoin has always went for 80 percent corrections after correcting 50% in the market, Bitcoin corrected for 60%, 50% in the market, but this led to a bear market. And once again, Bitcoin did go through a 50% correction and that was followed by a bear market for a very long time, guys. Now, once again, what do we have right here? We have more than a 50% correction coming from the top side. What we can expect is that Bitcoin maybe goes for another 83% correction. So from the top to the bottom, the area six retracements is aligning with $12,000 Bitcoin. Let's just say the ultimate resistance from the previous bear market is going to be acting like a good looking support in this bull market. By the way, these white lines they do demarcate the halving cycles on bitcoin guys this is a very key critical factor that i simply forgot to mention in the beginning of the video all of this price action analysis is your simple harmonic trends according to the bitcoin halving cycles which is why guys we have the next halving coming at maybe before november 2024 so we got a good time frame right here we got almost three years before the next halving 
earnings cycle kicks in. So that is when we can expect new all-time highs being taken out. Remember, this entire theory can probably fail itself if we start trending above $70,000 Bitcoin in the small to mid time frames. That is when Bitcoin will start another trend, guys. That, that is when maybe different things will happen in the market as a whole. But until you are below $65,000 and until you are kind of confirming that, look guys, most of the things that are pointed out towards the downside right here, the 111 moving average is also telling us that yes, we have initiated this entire downtrend. Until this is happening, until we have this price action posture towards the downside, we can expect a long form of correction coming on Bitcoin for maybe the rest of the year and maybe some part of 2023 as well guys so we can extend this bear like for a very long time if sixty nine thousand dollars was your real market top for the time being so what do you have to do in these kind of times sharpen your skills as a trader participate in the market as a whole just be a trader guys and more or less keep on accumulating bitcoin even if we go all the way towards twelve thousand dollars flat all right guys next possibility to entertain right here again aligned with most of the halving cycles coming on bitcoin right here this is something that we were talking about literally two to three months ago guys i was talking about how we could simply get into a long form of reaccumulation phase when we were trying to just cancel out fifty eight thousand dollar regions to the downside and that is when we were talking about this entire possibility playing out two months down the line we are actually following up with this analysis and the price action is kind of following this ghost feed right here that will also have your downside targets aligning with twenty thousand dollars bitcoin guys now the downside ranges can be massively volatile guys honestly you cannot have a fixed price where the market simply agrees on all the price actions and just simply all the buyers set in at one single price point right here to pick up bitcoin for some cheap prices i don't think it's going to happen like that guys market will eventually set in a bottom market will go through crazy models up moves and down moves and it will eventually set a bottom we can see that the market bottoms all across multiple cycles were aligning with crazy amount of despair sadness complete disbelief and a complete sell side exhaustion as well guys so you had supply shock coming from the fundamental end you had the sentiment being absolutely shattered in the market all the dreams were completely shattered and all of those things aligned with the market bottom as a whole guys so are we looking at these kind of situations happening right now no guys no we have a lot of euphoria to press on right now so let's see what happens but most likely until you're below fifty thousand, or let's just say guys you're below fifty eight thousand dollars per bitcoin these bear scenarios are something that have a greater likelihood to play out with that said guys let's talk about the guppy indicator the simplest of everything so if you are not day trading the market if you are simply investing in crypto assets or if you are looking at bitcoin in the long term this is what you need guys the guppy indicator on the weekly or three day or the daily time frame as well if you put guppy indicator on the blx index itself you can see guys the market likes to trend when the entire guppy bands are inclined towards the upside every single bullish leg happened on bitcoin when the guppy indicator was crazily inclined to the upside guys the slope of all of these projection moving averages were towards the upside even if i zoom into this one right here you can see that the biggest side of things biggest side of trend was simply going to the upside whereas you had a bear market when the guppy flipped down the, the slope of every single moving average was simply telling us that the market is going through a bearish phase and once again guys once the guppy indicator flipped bullish that is when your entire bull market started as a whole once again reaccumulation phase with the guppy being down and bull market with the guppy being to the upside once again guys we have the guppy going into weakness right here we can see that the guppy indicator rejected the price action at forty five thousand dollars on the weekly time frame with the top side being bearish guys so this downtrend in the grand scheme of things has potentially just started playing out. So most likely we will go through a <laughs> massive correction in the coming days, guys. Okay, with that said, let's simplify everything and let's just talk about the 200 simple moving average in comparison to the 50 simple moving average, guys. We got two simple moving averages on the weekly time frame that will most likely define a good look and reaccumulation market bottom as a whole. Weekly time frame has been the most important time frame for Bitcoin's price action history. And the 200 simple on the weekly time frame has been a greater buying area for the market. This entire 200 moving average is heavily inclined to the upside. Most likely with every week, this moving average is increasing by, let's just say, a couple of hundred bucks. So let's just say the next Next week is going to be $200 above this price point. You can see that the moving average is going to the upside. And this one has a good looking inclination to the upside as well. So the 200 weekly is still bullish, guys. But remember, this one has never gone bearish in the market. The 200 simple moving average has been working like a charm in terms of pointing out the market bottoms as a whole. But this one has never gone in a negative slope. 
in the coming days and the weeks if you see the 200 simple getting into a negative slope that could mean potentially devastating bear trends could play out in the market but until then guys you can see that this is landing with twenty thousand dollars bitcoin right here that potentially could be a good looking market bottom as well which is why dollar cost averaging into bitcoin in a bear trend has been the most profitable strategy that a lot of people simply have capitalized on guys again and again and again and again dollar cost average into bitcoin all the way towards twelve thousand dollars as well i hope that clears a lot of things in the long term analysis as a whole if you found this helpful guys hit that like bell subscribe i'm going to be catching all of you with crazy altcoin analysis in the next video until then bye for now